An update tonight on tension between some Waverly High School students and the district's administration. Tonight, some of those students met with school board members. Fox 47's Clayton Cummins was there, and Clayton, we're now getting a clearer picture as to what this is all about. That's right, Sarah. This all started because the students were riled up. Teachers don't have a new contract. They say the district wasn't listening to their concerns. Tonight, a meeting of the minds over a three hour period appears to be a success. The students feel they finally got what they wanted to be heard. Now, you may remember this scene last week as students skipped part of class to protest outside school. They were upset board members walked out on a public meeting back on January 23rd. Police Police were even called to the school. The school board president, Britton Slocum, telling me that they didn't walk out. The mics were off and they couldn't hear us do a roll call vote, but we went through and did a roll call vote from my left all the way through my right to go into closed session, and that's what we did. And in that session, we discussed stuff that was client attorney privilege. Students at tonight's meeting were happy to meet and present their ideas to board members. One student I talked to says there's a whole lot to learn from this experience. I'm just glad that I get to actually see some of them and, you know, have that one on one conversation like my name's Sage, you know me and now I know you instead of like looking you up on the website, be like, oh, this this is, uh, you know, my superintendent. The school superintendent said last week students would likely be punished for skipping class. A student tells me they'll be asked to do community service work by filling up backpacks for students less fortunate. They say they don't have any protests scheduled again, at least in the near future. Sarah.